in, in your, your current role, uh, Panama, as, as, as Chief Technology and Strategy Officer, what's, what's top of mind at the moment? I know there's some specific technology. But what do you think is really, what's keeping you awake? So I think what keeps me awake is um, how, fast can, how fast is fast enough? You know, yes. we talked about agility. So being agile, right, um, is easier said than done. And I think agility itself is getting redefined so fast. And I'll give you an example. Um, so last week, or uh, 10 days ago, we held our CIO summit, uh, Cisco CIO summit in Arizona this year. So I was asked to do a panel on seeing around the corners. How do we as a company see around the corners? Uh, and I brought two entrepreneurs for the panel. I wanted to do something different. One was 24 years old, one was 28 years and old. And it's not the age so much, but it's how they think. I asked Patrick, and this was you know, gutsy of me to do this, but uh, I did it anyway on stage. I asked him, uh, if you hadn't sold your company, and his company currently, his second startup is valued at $1.7 billion already, uh, Stripe is. Uh, if you were graduating from MIT, would you join Cisco or if any of the companies that are in the room today? And in that room, by the way, there was $1.2 trillion of market cap. So these are large companies. Similar to the data. Um, a little, but you know, <laughs> similar companies such as yourselves, right? And Patrick answered me the following way. Uh, he didn't answer me directly. And he said, so I was at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View last week, he said. And I looked at an ad from IBM from the 50s. An advertisement was in the History Museum. And the ad said, come join IBM. We're building computers that can think faster than the human brain. And if I had seen that ad today, I would have joined that company. So I logged into ibm.com backslash careers backslash jobs. And it said, come join our company if you want to improve shareholder value and optimize optimizations and improve efficiency and synergize synergies. Um, so he said, well, that's not a mission that I'm excited about. I think there's a message there. How do you encourage young people to, to get into technology and join our companies, right? It's all about the mission. It's all about the mission. If you tell people we're not building routers or networking, we're creating the internet of everything that's going to change how people live and how they think and how they learn, that is a mission that people are drawn to. Um, so I think we have to do that more. Yeah, no, definitely. And you talked about looking around corners. Yeah. Interested to get your thoughts on how the partners. I think partners have a huge role to play. And by the way, partners forums and partner summit. I'm not saying it just because I'm here. Are my favorite uh, events that we host because I think first of all the audience is very business oriented. You know, technology comes first. But partners, I think all of you are very close to your industries and having that depth of understanding. I think this vertical knowledge is going to be very important uh, for us and, and uh, incorporating that into our products and into, us, into our investment strategies. I think that's where partners can play a huge role in helping us see around the corners and making sure the technologies that we are bringing are actually solving the right problem. And I know you're very passionate about that. Mm -hmm. And how do we get our governments to really think about Think about technology. I mean, what about you know other technologies, Pam? I mean, we you know you talk about cloud and mobility and so on. Are there anything else you think that people are you know that are starting to come? I mean, from the startup communities or others where you're starting oh, to from see a Cisco anything? point of view or in general? Well, I guess in general. I think in general, this is maybe beyond Cisco. Even the technologies that I am really, uh, I feel, will become real in the next five years are, uh, I think. Uh, 3D printing, uh, definitely in manufacturing vertical, yeah. that's going to become yeah. very, very relevant. Second is drones, more in really tough industry where we are today putting human life at risk, like firefighting, for example. Yeah. And so for us, I think where we can help is making sure the connectivity and the network extends to these tough environments, so building ruggedized networking devices. And the third is my, my favorite, this is maybe just me, is a self-driving car, an autonomous car. I think to me that'll go, that's going to have so much implication, right? You know, today 99% of accidents are caused by human error, and when you replace that activity with a computer, that accident rate is going to go way down. So, what does that mean to the insurance industry? What does that mean? Uh, will we own as many cars as we will? Uh, people say that 30% of our time when we are driving is wasted trying looking for a parking spot. 
Um, so I think we can cut all that down when we have autonomous cars and smart metering, things that we are working on. So Although working. the way to do that these days is to have a Tesla, because in London, <laughs> you get free parking in the centre yeah. of town and free charging. That's so great. Electric free charging. Car, free charging and free, wow. uh, free parking right in the centre of London if you've got an electric so car. Do you have I, a Tesla? I don't have one as it happens, but... <laughs> Um, it is interesting. I think the technology, you know, and I think as we start to touch all those other technology areas, whether, of course, you know, you'll know again in the Valley, huge amount going on in the biotech area, all again to do with data processing and data science and so on, which is going to make huge changes in material technology as well, not only in 3D printing. but In, in genomics, like, I think, you know, this is where, by the way, I was talking to one of our customers uh, who's the CIO of NIH, yep. uh, the National Institutes of Health in the U.S., and she says, actually, this is a perfect example of IT becoming more relevant. A lot of the physicians and scientists who are working at NOH discovering drugs, actually, you go there and I feel like my job is meaningless because mm. they're, they're really saving though. human lives with the work that they're doing. <laughs> but they're challenged and they're limited today by the power of computing not yeah. being at the edge. Um, so I think this is truly an example of how NIH is becoming a digital company, right? Yeah. And so genomics is increasingly becoming more of a computer science problem. Yes. Yeah, I think you're right. It's touching every industry. It's absolutely amazing. Um, what about, we're, we're obviously still, you mentioned the investment um, uh, platform we have, uh, Padma. We're obviously still acquiring quite actively at the moment. Um, and, uh, you know, we've made some notable acquisitions in Europe. I mean, I know John doesn't like all the money being offshore, but we quite <laughs> like it all being offshore because it means you spend it all over here. So, so um, you know, the, there's been some really interesting acquisitions over recent times. But just give us a bit of a sense of where that's all going. That's a key part of your role now. Yeah, so, you know. you know, as a company, we are made up of acquisitions, right? We've, you know, we, this year will be a 30th anniversary, we, Cisco will turn 30. But well, in the 30 years, we've made about 175 acquisitions. And we joke and say we have 250 CEOs in the company, uh, people who've come as CEOs or we've hired as CEOs. Um, so we, we will continue to do that. I think the kinds of acquisitions that we've made, I would say in the last 18 months, uh, almost 90% of them have all been software, supporting cloud, supporting security in that platform layer that Tom talked about. Um, the recent, most recent uh, interesting ones that I'm excited about, um, we acquired a company called MetaCloud, mm. uh, based in Pasadena, not in, uh, in Europe, but uh, basically they do OpenStack uh, management behind the firewall. So this will be very relevant uh, for all of our partners So who are in the private cloud business today. Uh, we'll extend, I think there was a question about VC partnership. One of the other reasons with that vBlock is very important for us, uh, but increasingly we believe open source is going to play a big role in, in, uh, as a cloud operating system. So we bought this company, MetaCloud, that leverages OpenStack and, and does that. Talif is a company we bought yep. uh, in Europe, um, based in Stockholm, and they do network function, virtualization, service orchestration, really great asset for us. Mm -hmm. We acquired another company called a small uh, talent acquisition in collaboration called assemblage.com. And assemblage basically does whiteboarding integration into the collaboration platform. The next generation collaboration platform from Cisco is gonna be called Squared. And so this will integrate into Squared. And then we did a silicon acquisition called Memoir. That one's I, I like as well. You know, basically it exposes ASIC intelligence for that programmability. Um, so this just, uh, I feel I have the best job at Cisco. I, I get to meet all of our customers and partners and I get to meet all kinds of startups and entrepreneurs. And there's a lot of activity, by the way, in Dublin. One of the reasons I'm staying uh, to keynote at uh, Summit, which used to be called Web Summit, now it's called Summit, next week uh, is they attract a lot of entrepreneurs from all over Europe. It's going to be 23,000 people descending in uh, Dublin. And we are one of the sponsors of the conference uh, this year. And we're going to showcase our leadership in IoT and hopefully encourage these entrepreneurs to work with us. Yeah, it's amazing, actually. The summit has just grown in success. It's a fabulous, uh, fabulous activity. Excellent, Padma. Thank you very much again thank for you. spending your time. I really appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.